the real question is, you know, when I'm speaking with teenage cousins of mine and they're telling me about their boyfriends, I listen and I'm very polite and I'm kind of in coaching mode in, on one level with no judgment. And after I listen, understanding and remembering painfully well and all too well what it was like to be a teenager, which is when girls typically at about 11 start uh, their self-esteem, you might know this statistically, their girls' self-esteem plummets at about 11, 12, 13 years old. That's, that's in the literature. And so when I'm listening to teenage cousins, particularly girls, talking with me about their boyfriends and dating, and I'm hearing their stories, I listen, and then I say, okay, and they kind of get jolted. I have a question for you, and it's not going to be easy for you to hear what I'm saying. I would like to know what you want and what you need. I don't care what your boyfriend wants and your boyfriend needs. What do you want and what do you need? And is your boyfriend the kind of guy who can give it to you and care about it? And they just go blank. And to me, that is what is, is the kind of thinking that would be beneficial for in terms of, particularly with girls, in terms of, I don't want to say building self-esteem, but living in a frame of mind that includes self-esteem. Caring about yourself and observing other people in terms of who they are and how they are and really asking yourself, is this the kind of person I want to include in my life and spend time with? And that, to me, is, is what self-esteem would mean and, and how it would feel and, and the action and thought that would be behind living in a place filled with self-esteem, living a life that is filled with it, self-esteem.